what is up everybody it's mad libs now as we all know middle school is a terrifying terrifying place it's where all of our worst phases are where all the weirdest people are and just everything is confusing and just horrible I've mentioned before that my middle school years were a fucking shit show, because they were. I was going through my really angsty phase where I was mad at everything, and I was not like the other girls, and I hang out with the guys because I'm too cool, and I'm a tomboy, and I'm real tough. That was who I was back then. But this video is not about me, luckily. This video is about all the weirdos that I met in middle school. I've met a lot of weird people in middle school, and some of them, like... The reasons that they're weird or the stories behind them are too short for a, their own standalone videos. So I thought I would just compile all of them into one video talking about all these weird people that I knew. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off the bat with some really weird people. Uh, we're going to call these two uh, Darlene and Earl. Darlene and Earl were a very interesting couple of people. They were like the stereotype that you think of when you think of a nerd, you know, like the the tucked in shirts with their pants pulled up really high holding all the books with the glasses and they they sound like this and uh, yes, I'm very smart. You're going to be bagging my groceries and I'm going to be a top programmer. Uh. They were those people. Uh but that's not why they were really weird. The reason they were really weird was because they liked to pretend that they were the zombies from Plants vs Zombies unapologetically these people did it in class and they wanted you to know that they were zombies from plants vs zombies they would sit in class and then like the teachers assistant would walk over and then be like oh do you need help and they're like yes um you see we zombies don't understand your human biology perhaps you could explain these things and they do it really loud or like when so the teacher would call on them and be like hey uh you know you guys um hey darlene Who's Darlene? My name is Zombiefloor from Zombieland. Please refer to me by my real name. And they wouldn't, and then just go on to the next person, which would be Earl, and they'd be like, Hey, uh, Earl, do you have, um, uh, can you answer this? Well, I as a zombie do actually know the answer to this, uh, question. And, like, they would get together, they'd hang out in the corner in class and talk about it. They kept using the phrase, any self-respecting zombie, which was really, I didn't understand that. Like, they would be talking and they'd be like, any self-respecting zombie knows that zombies eat brains. Oh, yes, any self-respecting zombie knows that. They just, they never gave it up. I don't understand. Also, uh, Darlene had this weird stare. She, like, she was blind, but she could still see everything. She wasn't actually blind, but it was like that. Earl also hated summer vacation, and he actually wrote a letter to our principal, because, you know, the principal of our school has the power to change uh, summer vacation, uh, to get rid of it. And he was just like, yes, I hate summer vacation. I love being in school. So, you know, of course, I asked him why, and it's actually kind of sad. He hated summer vacation because he was so bored, and there was nothing to do during summer vacation. I was like, well, why don't you, like... I don't know, hang out with, with your friends or something. Poor guy didn't have friends. Didn't have anybody that wanted to hang out with him over summer vacation. And apparently he was so bored and he had absolutely nothing to do over summer vacation that he told everybody that he would be very happy to be in school all year round. And he said that he didn't even like the weekends because of that. Like, what about your family? Can't you just, like, I mean, if you're really that bored, why don't you go play, like a, like, a board game with your family or, you know, talk to them or do something? Like, I would feel worse for him if he, you know, shut up about it once in a while, but he didn't. We'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, I love, can't wait till the weekend. Oh, the weekend. It's like a short summer vacation, and I hate summer vacation. Did I tell you guys that? <coughs> <coughs> Fuck. Oh, God, I'm sick. That was not good for my throat. Shit. Okay, and that was, uh, that's really all I got about them. That's Darlene and Earl for you. Alright, so this next guy, we're gonna call Buddy, even though he was not very Buddy-like. I feel like if he could grow facial hair, he would be a neckbeard guy. He was really tall, really chubby, uh, browned glasses, didn't know how to interact with people like a normal fucking human being. And he was just like, you know, he wouldn't be on this list if he didn't stalk uh, me and my friend. Yeah, he stalked the both of us. He would. We looked around and we'd see him around the corner staring at us. He never like went. It never went out of school, thank God. But he would just stare at us during lunch. And he tried. I think he tried to hit on me once. I don't know. The way he did it was weird. We were standing. I happened to be standing in line next to him. He's like, you know, I play a lot of volleyball. And I was like, oh, 
okay, good for you. Because I didn't want to be rude to the guy because I felt bad because he didn't have any friends. So I was just like, oh, okay, man. He was like, yeah. <laughs> at my old school, I was pretty good at it. And I was like, okay, good for you, dude. Have fun with that. And he's like, yeah, you know, um, I did this one move that got about uh, 16 people out at the same time. And I knew he was bullshitting, but I didn't want to get in a fucking argument with this guy because I didn't want to be around him for longer than I should. It's like radiation where you're around somebody that makes you that uncomfortable. You don't want any prolonged exposure. So I was just like, all right, I was just waiting to get my food. He's like, yeah, you know, um, I called that move the Libby. I don't know why. I mean, I this was before I, I met you, but I um, called it the Libby. And I was just like, oh, okay. And then I grabbed my food and I ran. I fucking ran. I fucking pedaled the metal, that shit. And then I went back to my friend, who was also a very strange person. Yeah, that's right. You guys like that segue? Now, this lady, we're just going to call her Terrence. Let's call her Terrence. Now, Terrence, she was a fucking liar. She was one of those people that makes up stuff about her life to make herself seem more interesting. Because in reality... She's got no personality. Now, what does somebody usually lie about when they do this? I want you guys to think. They probably say that their parents work for a really cool game company. And they get all the cool stuff. Like the 4DS and the Sega console that isn't out yet. I don't know anything about Sega consoles. I'm sorry, guys. Or maybe they say that um, they come from a crazy exotic land or they're really rich or something like that. Uh, you know what this girl did? She told me that she was a secret spy. Yeah, that's right. This girl, this middle school girl that has, like, the most boring life that I've ever seen. She is James Bond, and she has a talking squirrel. I'm not making that up. She tried to convince me that she had a talking squirrel. Uh, she would call me, and then she would, like, put the squirrel on the phone, and it was clearly just her making a really high-pitched voice. She showed me pictures that still had the stock image filter on them of her squirrel, and then later on, because they were two brown squirrels, and then she told me that her squirrel was black, and I was like, you know, the picture you showed me was brown. No, those those were hamsters in the picture. Those are very clearly squirrels. And then I'd come over and be like, so where's your squirrel, huh? Where's your squirrel, Terrence? And then Terrence would just be like, oh, at, at my dad's house. <laughs> yeah, at, uh, the... The squirrels at my dad's house uh, this weekend, you know. And I was like, uh-huh, mm-hmm. The two of us actually fought over a guy at some point, And she had these two little peeped marshmallows that were shaped like hearts. She's like, these are a love potion. <laughs> the two people that eat them will fall in love. And I didn't believe it. I also didn't believe it because I ended up dating that guy uh, and she didn't. I am the one, the way your time don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. I actually see her time from time to time to this day, and every time I see her, she just stares at me with this giant forced smile, like she's trying to, like, maybe if I smile hard enough, she'll notice me. <laughs> so I just kind of look at her, and then I look away, and I don't like making eye contact with her because she's really weird. I learned from a couple other friends that used to be friends with her that she told that lie to them, too, and um, didn't work there either. And the other two people that I knew in middle school were um, Susan. A long time ago, in dinosaur days, a pterodactyl flew over the well with a chicken egg in its claws, and it dropped it, and years later, the egg hatches to this horrible dinosaur chicken. And David. Hey guys, your mom's teeth are literally so yellow that she literally actually spits, spits out butter. God. These two people were actually so weird and had so many stories behind them that they have their own standalone videos. I'm going to put an annotation in the top right uh, if you want to check those out. Uh, first one's for Susan. And next one's for David. Go check them out if you want. On to the next. Now this next guy, we're going to call this next dude, uh, we're going to call him Dude because I'm getting tired of making up names for these people because I want to protect their identity. Now Dude was... He wasn't funny weird. He was scary weird. I mean, he was a- I'm sure he was a nice guy and all, but like, he just had this dead stare like there was no life in his eyes. He just looked at everything with like this weird- not hatred, but like, just ser- he looked like a serial killer with the way he stared at things. It was weird. I actually talked to him for a little bit, and I found out that, um, 
he can hurt himself without hurting himself. Uh, he showed me this thing where he stabbed himself with a ruler, or he almost did. Well, he, like, pulled, like, reeled all the way back in our science class, because our science teacher, he was just droning on and on. He didn't notice nothing. He was just like, oh, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. And he just, like, bam, right into his arm. Like, he didn't bleed. He didn't break skin. He was doing some, like, magician shit where, like, it's an illusion. Like, he didn't actually stab himself, but it looked like it hurt, and he just kept pressing and pressing, and you could see it, like, going in like you can see it making divots in his skin and he just did not care and he was just like <laughs> just pushing that shit and then he just let it go and put it down and he was just like yeah i just did that and i was just like that's awesome because i didn't realize how weird it was until like later it like hit me like a truck later on i was like slain in bed i was like jesus christ Another thing he did, he was obsessed with a knife game, and he was actually pretty damn good at it. Like, he could go really, really fast with it, and he would not, of course, he wouldn't hit himself, because that's the point of the knife game. So that means that he's practicing at home. He did it with scissors, which was also terrifying. Um, and then he stabbed himself with those scissors. Again, no blood. I feel like he was doing some kind of magician shit, where it just looks like it hurt, but doesn't hurt at all. But on the bright side of knowing this guy, I learned uh, the word game. The word game is where somebody says a word and then you have to say that word louder than the other person and the person who won't say that word is they lose. It's like the penis game, except you pick your own word. Uh, that was actually really fun to watch him and his friend play in class. Okay, for our last freak of nature, I'm going to be talking about this one guy that just... Ugh, you know what? Just let me explain. We're going to call this guy... Andy. Now, Andy is disgusting. He really is. He is fucking gross. Andy, he's like the lives in the basement kind of nerd. Like, not the kind of nerd that you can see going far in life. The kind of nerd that thinks he's gonna go far in life, but all he's gonna be doing is watching hentai in his mom's basement. Uh, he was like, uh, the way he is, he was really tall, really skinny, really long, gross hair, looked like he never washed it. He always wore the same outfit, like, every day. It was always sweatpants, this weird striped shirt, and his green jacket. He always wore that, every day. I don't know if he ever, he changed, like, once a month. It was nasty. He would get really upset if you made a mistake when you talked about some of his nerd shit. I think one time I said I liked one of the Star Wars prequels because... Honestly, I've never been a huge fan of Star Wars, so I was just like, oh yeah, I mean, I don't, I think it was kind of good. And he, like, leaned over the lunch table and started screaming at me, like, so close to my face. I had to keep wiping my face because he kept spitting and he just smelled like stale Cheetos and Mountain Dew. It was fucking nasty. He's, ugh, gross. I don't think he just cleaned himself in general, like, ever. I didn't like getting into arguments with him because he would just scream, be like, what? How could you like that? How could you like that? It's so bad. God, you know nothing. And he had these really weird nerd insults. He would always tell people, go shove your head in a vat of acid uh, whenever somebody crossed him and he didn't like it. But then again, what do I expect from a man who says that he's going to rewrite the entire Sword Art Online anime because he wasn't satisfied with it? Yeah, he told me that, too. I saw him at the same party of a mutual friend that I saw good old David at, because we all hung out in the same crew back in middle school. And we were talking about it because one of our friends did like Sword Online. He's like, that's horrible! And they got into, like, an argument over it. I mean, he got into the argument. My other friend, he was just, like, kind of like, you know, how you defend a show that you like. But this guy was actually mad. Like, he was actually mad about it. He was like, no, it's so bad! How can you like that trash? And he was like, one of my friends liked it. And I told him that I'm going to rewrite the entire anime, and I'm on episode three right now. And I was like, I actually, I didn't hold back. I didn't try to be nice or nothing. I was like, that's really sad, dude. And he just kind of laughed. He was like, I, 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 I mean, I, I have a lot, a lot of time on my hands. I'm like, clearly you have a lot of time on your hands. Is that really... And I actually told him, I was like, do you have, like, nothing better to do? You didn't like it? I don't like shows, but I'm not going to rewrite it. Are you going to send it to the creators or something? This The show is on. It's already there. You can't change it. What are you going to do? What is this supposed to do? You're just doing it to do it because you don't like it? Jesus. And I thought I was petty. I wouldn't be saying that he was this gross if that was all that he did. The reason I'm saying it is because, oh, apparently, according to one of my friends... He jerked off in class, like in the middle of class. They were watching, apparently what happened was they were watching a movie and like this friend of a friend like looked over at him and she saw like it wasn't, he didn't, fucking gross, dude. Like, it, I mean, it was in the pants, but it was, you could, like, apparently you could tell what he was doing. You could see, you can, you knew what he was doing. Like, it was easy to tell and it's just like the lights were down and apparently he thought he was being slick. 
and that nobody saw it, but apparently a lot of people saw it, and just, Jesus Christ, how can you do that? Like, I don't understand, that's fucking disgusting. Like, do you really, can you not wait? Until you get home? Like, you, you have to do that in class? God, like, if you really can't wait, go to the bathroom or something. Jesus. Like, even that would be better. Go to the fucking bathroom. Why do you have to just... Ugh. God. So, um, yeah. That's the story of good old Andy. Fucking gross. Anyway, yeah. That's a bunch of weirdos that I knew in middle school. I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and definitely don't forget to subscribe and join the madness. Sorry if my voice is off in this video. I've, I've been getting kind of sick lately. But, you know, what are you going to do? I really wanted to make this. Alright, see ya.